many of us suffer from headaches. When it comes to headache, most of us only look at it as a pain in our head. However, the location of this pain we experience is very important. The location of the pain in the head area actually reveals the cause of the problems we experience in our body. What does the location of your headache mean? While explaining these pains, specialist doctors explain that stress, looking at the screen for too long, not getting enough sleep and much more can cause headaches. Headaches can sometimes occur as a result of minor problems that seem insignificant and neglected, or they can indicate extremely vital problems. In this video, Dr. Annanen explains what the location of a headache means and the best way to treat it. Pain in the forehead According to Dr. Nainan, looking at a screen or reading a book in low light can strain the eyes and cause forehead pain. It may help to take a screen break and put the phone or laptop away. If it's a headache caused by eye strain, looking at a screen can make it worse and some people may need to take regular breaks. In such cases, Dr. Nainan says that taking a break in a dark room, such as paracetamol or ibuprofen, can help you. He also points out that the pain felt in the forehead can also be caused by stress and anxiety. If the pain is in the temples. If the pain is in the temples, temple pain can have many causes, from toothache to migraine. Intense headaches due to inflammation of the vessels or nerves in that area normally affect only one side of the head. In such cases, cold compresses, rest and paracetamol can be very helpful in relieving the headache. However, it is also worth considering that this pain may also indicate inflammation of a blood vessel or nerve in that area. Nerve inflammation often triggers other symptoms such as fever and changes in vision. In these cases, medical help should be sought. If the pain is in the back of the head, IT is worth seeing a doctor. Just like the forehead, if you feel something pressing or tightening around the back of the head, it could be due to stress and anxiety, as well as sleep problems and caffeine. Sometimes neck tension can cause this pain. But in some cases, pain in the back of the head can be a sign of a worse problem, such as a leaking blood vessel. When this pain is accompanied by fever, photosensitivity, vision or balance problems, Dr. Nainan points out that professional help should be sought. If the pain is on the right or left side. If the pain only affects one side, this headache may be a migraine. This pain is often accompanied by sensitivity to light and sound, as well as nausea. Other symptoms that often occur before migraine attacks include yawning a lot, excessive cravings for certain foods and more urination. Migraine pain can last from two hours to three days. Dr. Nainan says that very rarely, a headache that is concentrated on one side of the skull can be a sign of a brain tumor. However, it is usually accompanied by other symptoms, according to Cancer Research UK. If the pain is behind the eyes. If the pain is felt as coming from behind the eyes, it should not be ignored that it may be a sign of sinusitis. This pain is much more common especially in autumn and winter. Sinuses are small air-filled cavities located just behind the cheekbones and forehead. Symptoms of sinusitis include headache, nasal congestion, pain in the eyes and forehead and high fever. However, Dr. Nainan warns patients that if this headache is accompanied by some vision problems, double vision or pain when you move your eye, it may be a sign of an eye disease. In addition, headaches can also be caused by tension in other parts of the body. Many people have tension, sometimes headaches and facial pain can be reflected from other parts of the body. All these types of pain should start to go away within six hours. If it does not go away or worsens, do not forget that you should definitely seek medical help.